It's not easy to charge custom-made lithium-ion batteries in a third world country. I've been living in Papua New Guinea for the past three years and I still wanted to fly my model airplanes and to keep my technical hobbies. But how? How can I have functional batteries for my RC models if nobody ships them here in the middle of nowhere? Frustration. Disappointment. If I could only build them myself, I said. I do have access to old laptop batteries and all sorts of junk here. When I measured some of these cells, I even found 70% of capacity left in some of them. I then packed some in 3S and 4S configurations, but I needed a balancing charger to go by or I had to charge the cells individually since they were coming from different devices and they were having different ages. This is how I came to want to try out this HDRC balance charger and this video is about the HDRC lithium ion charger and we're gonna see how it works after the break. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fun Electronics Today. This is the B6 V2 HDRC balance charger. This charger is having a few side connectors. One of them is for connecting the actual battery and it has an array of connectors which you can use for balancing the battery. And then you can select the type of battery you want to charge. We're gonna go with lithium ion, which is under lithium battery. It allows you to set the type of battery. I'll choose lithium ion, and then the capacity of the battery, which in my case is 3.8 amps. That's also stated as the C parameter of the battery. and I have to choose balance charger in my case and then press the start button to check the battery shortly and then I have to press the start button again to confirm and basically it starts charging now Coming back later and the battery says full, um, it displays the total capacity that was put into the battery. Battery now shows a low number there be because during the make of this video I had to restart the process several times and I didn't really like the fact that the charging of the battery stopped at 16.4 volts. That's 4.1 volts per cell and being a lithium ion battery it should stop at 4.2 volts per cell so we're gonna go back to the settings inside this menu and set this parameter Since I am here, I also want to change the resolution for controlling the actual balancing. 
process of the battery I will set it to accurate although this might result in longer charging times and being under lithium ion battery charge I will modify the number to 4100 and 95 let's leave it this way this is almost 4.2 volts per cell and since I set all these parameters now I can go back to the charging menu and restart the charging of the battery and see how it behaves coming back later I can see that the final voltage of the battery is 16.78 and in order to calibrate this charger I will use my multimeter and measure the actual voltage of the cells to see if the balancing charger was accurate enough first cell is 4.2 volts the second one is a little bit high 4.22 and the fourth cell is also 4.22 so I will need to go back into the charger settings and lower this value a little bit just to stay on the safe side and now since I have some batteries I can play with them and test them If you enjoyed this video subscribe in order to support Fun Electronics today and to make this content available to others by helping this channel grow.